Hello guys, it's Robert to Destroyer Warmonger here. Today we're going to be uh, teaching you how to implement your own blocks, that being vanilla and 3D blocks, into the Invention Mod 1.1. What version you're going to be using, which in this case is the latest. So what you're going to have to do is go to the GitHub, which I will be providing in in the description, and you're going to download the Invention Master, in which this is the zip file right here. You're going to open this up, and you'll see all of these folders here. So the, just like the other uh, tutorial I have on my channel about installing Flans Mod uh, into your clips and making a workspace, you're going to be doing the exact same thing, uh, but this time it's going to be just for invention. So you're going to be presented with these folders and uh, files. You're going to take these top four folders. You can actually leave out this one if you want to. It's just, it's just a folder that has all of my original models in, and you can be dragging these straight into your folder that you set up for your invention uh, workspace or and or flans map workspace. And of course we're gonna be doing the same things last time, which is doing the eclipse uh sorry great old w dot bat space uh, refresh dependencies and all that and then great old w dot bat uh, eclipse. You're gonna be doing those things and then stand that up and eventually you'll be uh, you know sw switching the workspace to this eclipse folder right here. That would, be, that would be created, and when you run the first time, this folder right here will be made called Invention. And here, there will be nothing, but I will be providing the example I am going to be making in this chat in this video that uh, you can be using to make your blocks and your content pack. So, let's, let's, without further ado, let us start making our content pack. So, let's just name this something uh, generic, so I'm just going to call it Example. As I spell it wrong. Example. And uh, again, I'm going to provide this in the description, don't worry. I'm going to copy my original folders from my content pack into here, and I'm going to clear them out. So let's change this also to example. And I cannot spell example today. And uh, the line file, we'll be changing ourselves later. Texture files, blocks, we're going to be clearing these out. Same with models. And there we go. Let's go back to the beginning. Going to go to blocks now, and we're going to keep these because we're going to change them. Uh, in here, uh, do we only do that? That's when you export. And here is our JSON files for actually making a uh, block, a 3D block. So I'm going to leave one of them. Usually, let's do the create actually. And stairs will do the same too. So with that, we can now open our clips, and we'll be able to start on this. So, once you make your prop and get it all ready, you're going to export it as a Flance Bomb model. And we can rename it just Bomb. And we're going to copy this and paste it into a new folder we make that's going to be based off this mod invention client, model W44. And we're going to rename it Example, as I made right here. We're going to open it up, and we're going to copy one of these into here, just so we can actually use it as a base. And we're going to paste it all. And it's going to quickly give us, not quickly, it's going to automatically give us tons of errors. So what we're going to do is we're going to open up a previous one that has been provided. So let's just open one of the ones that's going to be, like a chair. And what we're going to do is we're going to copy these uh, top road things right here. With that, we can rename this body model to model. And with that... Oh yeah, of course, yeah, I forgot. <laughs> we need to change this this uh, model plane to TMT model. And then, of course, change this, so model, and then it would be example. And there we go. Is there any more errors? Oh yeah, of course, translate all. But what we're going to do is we're going to go back in here, we're going to copy some things. We're going to be copying model scale and translation. Copying those in. And uh, pasting those in. And now the model itself of the bomb is now actually in. And now what we have to do is load the model and of course put the texture in. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to go down here, go to the example folder that we made, and we're going to go to the props folder and just create one. That's JSON. We're going to open that up and we're going to rename all these things. So what we're going to do is actually make the ID the highest number possible that within reason, that being, of course. So, the highest number you can go is like 2 million, but I'd recommend get, staying to the thousands, because if two pa content packs use the same number, it will conflict and cause a crash. So for this one, I'm just gonna pick a random number, so let's, let's just do 2,500. It's just a random number, it could be anything. 
and we're going to rename this so instead of example, it's going to be example bomb. And of course, this is lowercase right here. Display name. This is basically what's going to be displayed in the game. So we're just going to call this bomb in ground or something. Material name: iron, wood, stone, that kind of stuff. Texture name. So instead of this, this is going to be Warfare 44. It's going to be example. And then this one is going to be course example again. And we're going to call this example bomb. And skin name is, uh, this is for your icon, by the way, if you're wondering. This is your skin, so it's that Warfare 44. We're going to again do an example. Textures, models, skin, and then we're going to find new things. So this actually be the exact same thing with PNG and everything. So we're just going to say skin bomb, because I think that's what I named it. And model name, of course, being example once again. Example, and then what the model we did. So this case is just bomb with a capitalization. And bounding boxes, these three numbers on the left, uh, right, I mean, are situated right now as a 1 by, or 16 by 16 by 16 pixel block, basically just a normal vanilla block. But we can change these, of course, to be by bigger, but not the two right ones, only the middle one. Because uh, for some reason, Minecraft 1.7.10 doesn't really want to make things bigger uh, on the x and z axis, but the y axis you can change to a certain point. I think you can go to like two blocks and that's the max. So this one in this case is only matter up in like a 1.5 so we can actually show you. And these ones is how you make it smaller. It's complicated. It just a lot of, requires a lot of tinkering to work with to be honest. And when we're done with that, we're going to save it. And of course this is still called create.json, but we're going to rename it. And we're going to name this one instead bomb.json. Now with that done, we got to put the texture in, of course. So we're going to go into our invention folder or example. Uh, we're going to, actually, I'm going to, yeah, example, then assets, example, textures. Uh, we're going to go into models, this case. Blocks to be a different story. That'd be the icon. Models, and we're going to put the skin in. That I have. Skin bomb. Copy it. Paste it. So now we have that in there. And with that, we can get an icon if you want to. So all I'll do for the icon is just something very simple. I'll just do this for the moment. And what I named it was... This uh, example bomb, okay. Just bomb. Is it going to be a sample? We're going to open this and change it up anyways. Change the... Uh, resize it to what we want it to be, so 16 by 16, I guess. And we can just make this uh, red so it's easy to know. So we know we did it right. Not really moved from making a good texture <laughs> or icon. Anyways, with that said, we can actually test this out. Okay, let's go to give this a test. So we're going to type in bomb, see bomb and ground, place it down, and there we go. You can see it's 1.5 block size, so I can't actually jump on top of it. I can also change that, because I could jump on top of it. But you can see, here is a 3D block in-game. And uh, setting hardness and all that, I will be posting uh, instructions in the description, because at the moment I am not using that current version, so I will tell you guys how to do that later. But after that, uh, since that's done, now let's do the vanilla blocks. And uh, with that, then that will be it. So blocks is a lot easier since we already have a copy of it. It's just concrete.json. So what we're going to do is we're just going to refactor this right now, actually. We're going to name this uh, example. Or actually, let's just say called test block. Let's open up the .json. Uh, let's uh, change this. So let's just do a 6,000. Uh, so instead, this one's going to be example and test block. The display name, we'll just call it test block of testing material. It's rock, actually, instead of stone. Uh, and texture name, so instead of me example, we're for 44 concrete, we're going to change this again. So it's going to be example test block. Save that, and we're going to go into the folder where we just were at with the example bomb. So we named this one, so it's going to be called uh, example test block. 
Let's open this up. You know, let's make it something a little bit more changeable. So let's make it like a rainbow. There we go. Something that hurt the eyes. There you go. We got example test block. And with that, that's done. Now we can cast this. Give this a test. And after that's done, I will show you stairs. Stairs are actually very similar. It's honestly just uh, ID. The material ID has to be the same as the block that you want to be of, because you have to actually make a normal block of it in this case. Uh, the unlocalized name, and then the concrete stairs is a display name. So actually, I don't even really need to. It just, it's very self-explanatory at that point. But here we go. I'm testing uh, the vanilla block. So test block of testing. And there we go. We got our very... Uh, trippy induced block that will hurt your eyes if you look at it too long. But anyways, I'll be putting uh, these blocks in the description, maybe not the exact ones, just as, a, just as the files themselves, uh, to help you guys uh, get these done. As you can see, I've actually started on my end with the Warper 44. It's putting these blocks in, and you can see that some of these actually still need to be bug tested. But uh, since I'm using a new version with the contact system, I've uh, been putting all these blocks in once again, such as the fuel drum crate and stuff I actually crate also. You can see. But I hope that, hope that works for you. Uh, once you get this all done, if you're using these previous blocks, when I actually release it, the newest version of these, it will actually work. They won't be deleted, but they might, they might lose their rotation. So, example, if you have your rotation point with a barbed wire like this, it will be actually rota rotated and messed up to basically look, look like that. But it's a quick fix. But with that said, that is all you need to do to make custom blocks and invention. 1.1, and I hope it works for you. If there's any uh, bugs, uh, please let us know in the Warfare 44 Discord what are the bugs and the issues. And if uh, there's one other random issue being in the .json, if like this folder, right, this thing right here needs to be capitalized or this needs to be capitalized, just give it a try. I, 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 it works for me right here, but it might be different in game. So hope it works for you. And if you have any questions, let me know at Warmonger. And uh, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope this helps. Uh, credit to Deltric and me, Warmonger, for working on this mod. And I hope to see you guys make your own block soon. Well, that's all I have today. Thanks, have a good day. Goodbye.